So without further ado, let's uh, <coughs> let's talk about the uh, a little bit of uh, introduction here. The uh, <coughs> the name Babylon should be understood um, not necessarily as a place, um, and it was, but uh, in this sense, it should be understood that the, it's the evil world system, not in terms of, of geography, per se. So, uh, we have verses uh, uh, 17, chapter 17, verses 1 through 18. Now, I'm not going to try to read all that, um, but we're going to talk, um, talk a little bit about um, <coughs> my notes here we're going to we're going to talk a little bit about um, throughout this chapter and I'll try to um, explain as we go along exactly where we're at now first of all we are talking about the um, it talks about the uh, whore of Babylon the great whore that sitteth um, upon many many waters or whatever. Now the whore is a metaphor, okay, for the false religion. Now in verse let's see the verse fifteen, if we go there, it, it talks about uh, the waters you saw where the where the prostitute or where the prostitute sits are uh, are the peoples and multitudes and nations and languages. Uh, this kind of indicates, if you will, that the uh, it's the one world religious system that's going to take place. Um, <clears throat> now, in verse 2, okay, it talks about uh, the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitant and, and and the inhabitants of the earth have made uh, drunk have been made drunk uh, with the wine of her fornication this indicates that the uh, the false uh, the great uh, excuse me this indicates great spiritual whore um, has support of the world leaders okay her false teaching uh, was so enticing uh, that they're basically they're, they're kind of drunk on, on, on the power and the um, intoxicated with with the uh, her false teaching, if you will. Now, the the beast, okay, is the antichrist, and so the harlot, um, the harlot sitting. Um, on him or whatever um, suggest as it's a religious uh, political um, coalition if you will okay now the ten horns okay re represent the ten or ten kings okay that are subordinate to the Antichrist now uh, some will say this is the the rise of the old Roman Empire. Uh, we don't know exactly. Okay, that might be a very uh, very good ooh, excuse me very good way to uh, approach this. Now prostitutes um, usually dress to entice. So. What's this world system or this um, this person, these persons? Um, what are they going to use to to entice the world to be um, believe in them and believe in this in this one world system? Okay. Now, 
Now you notice in, in, in verse, okay, let's see here what in my notes here, the, in, in verse is described, okay, she's described as uh, arrayed in purple and scarlet color, decked with golden uh, and precious stones, pearls having a great uh, cup full of uh, abominations and filthiness and uh, of her fornication. Uh, in other words, she's going to say, um, here it is. We're, we're enticing the, the entire world to be, uh, if you will, uh, go against God's, everything that God stands for, we're going to do the opposite. And we're going to take pleasure in doing it. Verses uh, 4 and 5, it says the mystery uh, she has on her, basically printed on her forehead, okay. Uh, mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, and the abominations of earth, of the earth. Wow. What a title to have stenciled on your forehead, if you will. Okay. Now, verse verse 6 describes her, okay, in, in a little more detail, if you will. It says, I saw that woman was drunk with the blood of the saints and the, uh, the blood of those who bore testimony to Jesus. Now, as we read further in, in, in into the chapter, we have the uh, uh, the angel promises to interrupt uh, the woman and the beast, uh, which is which is baffling, okay, uh, to John. Uh, he doesn't understand it. Remember, John is just recording what's going on. Sometimes he understands. Other times he does not. Okay. The angel, okay, the, um, the angel explains the beast shall send out of the bottomless pit or the abyss, if you will, and uh, and then go into perdition and destruction. So the angel tells John, basically, um, the day. Um, the angel tells John. Um, <coughs> That the uh, what I'm trying to say here, he's telling John that that the uh, that those who do not have their names written in the book of life, okay, um, will be amazed uh, to see the beast, okay. Uh, they're going to be sucked in, per se. They're going to say that, oh, th this this is our Savior, okay. Uh, now remember, okay, for everything that God has, okay, Satan has a has a uh, a, a fake, okay. He he tries to duplicate God in in every detail. Next, the, the angel explains, okay, there are seven heads. Uh, the seven heads are, are seven mountains, which the woman sits, sits on, okay? And there are seven, uh, let's see, there are seven kings, five are fallen, okay? Uh, one is uh, not yet one is, and then the other not yet come, which cometh in a, in, in a short space. Okay, uh, this could represent the five 
fallen um, empires of the, of the world. Okay, and they are uh, Egypt, Assyria, Babylon, okay, Persia, and Greece. Now, now none of these empires, okay, ruled the entire world in, in their time. However, uh, the Oh, the only one that uh, has, if you will, um, would be Rome. Rome, uh, like the other empires, the Antichrist uh, is, is like the other empires, the Antichrist, uh, the seventh king, okay, is going into destruction. Okay, well, while six of these heads, okay, are past empires, the ten horns, okay, now remember, uh, we're talking about the ten horns, possibly of the uh, uh, revived Roman Empire, okay, or contemporary world, world leaders, okay, who will receive the power uh, of kings, okay, uh, briefly for an hour, okay, I mean, that's just a brief, brief time. Okay. They will unite and support the beast and make war with the lamb. But we find here in, in uh, verse 14 and, and B, uh, 14b, it says, But the lamb will overcome because he is Lord. Okay, this is the, uh, this will happen in the Battle of Armageddon, okay. Uh, we have reference here in, in John 44a, uh, no one could come, um, excuse me now, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. When, when Christ defeats Satan, He will, he will have with him, okay, uh, the called, the chosen, the faithful, okay. And then, uh, and then there's a phrase here in, in John um, 44 that says, No one can come to, uh, to me unless the Father, okay, who sent me draws him, okay. Now we go on with uh, into the chapter, and we have the um, we've got the waters and the ten horns, and the explanation of of the. Uh, the show. Okay, back up here. This is the this is the benefit of not being actually in the pulpit, but we'll, we'll get we'll get you there. The uh, the waters in verse fifteen explain the the, the previous um, connection to verse one. Okay, the angel next explains the ten horns and the beast. Okay, the antichrist shall hate the whore. Okay, now using using the the um, I don't know. Using the the ruse of of the false religion to gain control of the world, the Antichrist, okay, now makes the uh, makes the attempt to uh, um, desolate and and make naked and, and, and shall eat eat her flesh and, and burn with fire. Okay, in other words, the Antichrist is going to set himself up, okay, in, in the first portion of the, uh, of the tribulation to um, be on the side, okay, 
of the uh, be on the side of Israel. Okay, uh, remember they're going to set up the, uh, the the temple, and and then the. Uh, For temple temple worship and, and then we go into um, for like three and a half years whatever the time frame is here okay he's going to um, be on the side of uh, of the good so to speak okay it, it's all a ruse okay uh, it, it's not true okay so, so basically, he's he's running a scam, okay. Now, okay, the end. Uh, this indicates that the Antichrist will plunder her wealth and totally destroy her. So he's got he's got to do that, okay, to, to pull this thing off. However, well, it seems uh, it seems. While time is, is not given, okay, it seems these events are, are in the middle, okay, uh, of the seven-year tribulation. And uh, in other words, uh, it's going to take take a time frame here, okay, you've got the first three and a half years or so, and then suddenly he's going to flip. He's he's going to flip the the script, if you will. Okay. When, when the beast, uh, get my notes here. When the beast takes over the world, um, world power, okay, he will assume the place of God and demand everyone worship him or die, okay. Now, in in the uh, <clears throat> what do we? Uh, the, the angel further explains, okay, for, for God hath not put uh, in their hearts to fulfill um, to fulfill his will or to agree uh, and, and give her the kingdom uh, or give, give their kingdom uh, unto the beast until, okay, until God has... has shall be fulfilled. In other words, God's going to have his way. God is going to, uh, the beast and his followers uh, will, will take their, uh, are, are taking their, uh, serving their to their own ends. But it's all God, it's all part of God's plan. Okay? We, we, we've got to understand. Okay? We may not understand this. We may think that this is just, wow, above and beyond. Why would God allow this? God has a plan, and his plan is not going to be um, undermined or disrailed or how, however you want to put it, okay? Uh, this is because, okay, you find the verse over here in Galatians 6, 7. It says, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked, Okay? A man reaps what he sows. It, it's <clears throat> finally, okay, finally the angel explains, okay, that the woman that John saw is the great city okay, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Apparently, okay, uh, uh, the false religion uh, of the whore is centered in some great city um, and there's speculation because of the mention of the seven hills or whatever okay uh, that it's Rome because Rome if you don't recall your geography Rome is built on seven hills okay now not only not only is the fall of the ecclesiastical 
uh, Babylon. Okay, but we move over here into chapter 18, verses 1 through 24. That's basically the entire chapter. Okay, and another angel. Okay, this is this is verse one. John sees another angel uh, come down from heaven. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and on the earth, okay, lightened in, the, in his glory, the angel uh, angel calls out with a mighty shout, Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen. Okay. Now remember, Babylon is symbolizing the... Uh, um, The world system, okay, not necessarily the city of Babylon of old, okay, but the entire uh, system uh, of this of this particular time in the world. Babylon's destruction occurs, okay, because she is the home of, of devils and every foul spirit. Every unclean and, and hateful bird, okay. Babylon's influence of the world, uh, kings, okay. Uh, it caused the kings to uh, commit fornication. Uh, in other words, okay, their um, it, it's it's spiritual fornication, okay, as well as. Uh, physical fornication, okay, but at, at the same time, okay, a, as a result, what happens here? And in verse three, C, it says, and, "And the merchants of earth grew rich from her excessive luxuries." Okay, this is a money maker. Okay. This is a money maker. Now we talk about um, sometimes what happens here in, in, in Revelation is the uh, you have descriptions after the fact. Okay, so in other words, basically. Um, this particular section here in 17 and 18 precede okay chapters 15 and 16 so they're they're, they're kind of flip-flop here a little bit as far as the sequential but unrepentant babylon will be judged because of her sins uh, have reached into the heavens and god has remembered her iniquities god's patience has run out God is a very, very patient, but he is also holy. He is also pure. He is also all the all the accolades that we could we could heap upon him. He's he's that and plus much, much more. Okay. Therefore, God's uh, people are commended to come up out of her to come out of uh, come out of her okay because uh, because of the sins and uh, therefore God's people are are commanded to come out of her because of her sins and eventual judgment in other words, God says, look, separate yourself, okay? I, I'm judging this. I, I cannot tolerate this any longer. Now, the, judge, uh, the, the judgment, okay? Here, here's my notes here. Okay. The judgment will come... Uh, in one day, because of the 
because strong is the Lord who judgeth her. Uh, this means that the commercial Babylon will be destructed or be, be destroyed quickly. Okay. As a result, all, all, all these kings that enjoyed all this luxury and all that, okay, in verse uh, 9 of chapter 18, it says, when, they, when the kings uh, of the earth who committed adultery with her shared her luxury, see the smoke of her burning, they will, they will weep and mourn over her. It's going to be, yes, it, it, it's going to be terrible. Okay. The, the merchants of the world weep. Okay. Because no one's left to buy their goods. God's judgment um, uh, on, the, uh, on the commercial Babylon will, will be destroyed uh, basically with a whole world economic system. It's going to be trashed. It's going to be destroyed. The merchants will be terrified and weep aloud. <coughs> Excuse me. Because the great city that, that that had all these enormous riches and all that, okay, was made desolate in an hour. How this is going to play out, what that actually looks like, okay, whether it's going to be a, a massive global stock market crash, I, I don't know, okay. But we do know, okay, that the that the economic system, okay, will no longer be. There's a verse. Uh, Although the earth mourns, heaven rejoices over the uh, over the destruction of Babylon. Okay. Babylon has slain God's saints, so God slays Babylon. And there's a reminder over here in Hebrews, uh, chapter 10, verse 30. It says, Vengeance, it is, it is mine to avenge. I will repay. A mighty angel uh, casting a great millstone into the sea symbolizes the destruction of Babylon. Okay. So the complete destruction uh, of the sound is music, or uh, yeah. So the complete destruction uh, of her. Um, is a is what's this say again? I got to read my notes here. Get all kind of fuzzy. So the complete, so complete is her destruction. That the sound of her music okay, shall be heard no more. All the craftsmen. And the trade men will not be found. Affluent lifestyles characterized by this tribulation uh, are ended. Babylon, the sins of Babylon are many. Her destruction, okay, but her destruction will result in a diabolic uh, act as specified here, okay. We find this in verse 24. In her was found the blood of the prophets and the saints and all who have been killed on earth. Babylon the Great, the final evil world empire and all its splendor is still future. However, the evil system called Babylon is under construction right now. When it reaches the, the culmination, it will deceive the unbelieving world 
and lead to its total destruction. God wants us to be aware of the fall of, e- of the ecclesiastical Babylon and the fall of the commercial Babylon. Thank you for tolerating me today. Thank you for uh, um, listening to this. Uh, God bless you. And I hope I hope we got something out of it today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for who you are. Thank you for allowing me to stumble through this and try to explain uh, this passage in, in, in Revelation. Lord, help us to understand that we won't be here but we have an obligation to tell the world give us the courage give us the mindset give us the lifestyle so that your word will be honored and Jesus is lifted up we ask these things in Jesus name Amen Thank you for being with us. God bless.